Yo, what's good, man? Um, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be checking out a video titled Europeans Try to Answer Six Basic Questions About the United States. Um, I'm not sure if each person is going to get six questions. It's a pretty short video, so it would be interesting if, uh, all, six, if all six questions go to, you know, one person. But we're going to be checking out this video. It's all for fun and giggles. You know, I don't expect Europeans to know, you know, a shit ton about the United States. Maybe the president, that's about it. But I don't really think it's their job to, to know that. That's me personally, you know, because I understand that people's interests are very much different. And I don't know everything about Europe. Let's just be real. Like, I know a few things about Germany, Finland, obviously, because I live here now. You know, a little Sweden, a little Denmark. I, I know a little little stuff but i don't know everything about europe so i do um you know hope that these people actually impress me because i do believe they might actually impress me way more than i am capable of impressing them so without further ado let's go into this video thank you for watching please do check out the other videos and uh, thank you for your love and support on this wonderful channel anyways man let's get right into this video it's a big multicultural country Indeed. Joe Biden, unfortunately. What's oh her name? lord Kamala, it, it must be Vice President Kamala Harris. We're in Ljubljana, and the question we're asking is, what do Europeans know about America? How many states are there in the U.S.? 550. Oh my God, as much as there are stars. <laughs> 24. Oh, 50. oh! 50. I mean, she's right, though. I think it's 50. 50. 52? 30. 51? Easy, 50. Oh God, I don't know if it's 50 or 51. 52. 51. Who was the first president of America? Abraham. Abraham Lincoln. George the slaves. Lincoln? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Lincoln? George W. Washington? Uh, George Washington. Washington? Oh, I have no clue. George Washington. Lincoln? <laughs> uh, Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> free the slave that's one thing you gotta always remember just <laughs> president to free the slave let me see if that's actually good enough reference to, to, to be telling people <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry president to free <laughs> the slaves u.s president to free the slave let's put u.s president to free the slaves <laughs> what the frig man they ain't giving me nothing wow you're cr how how do they not have anything dude Dude, yes, at the end of his life, Washington made the decision to free all the, of the enslaved people he owned in his 1799. Like, what? I'm surprised that there's not any information on the internet that actually speaks about George Washington and the freaking slavery shit. That's crazy. George Washington. Uh, George Washington? <laughs> nah, I don't know. <laughs> nah, I don't know. What are the two countries that border America? Brazil and uh, 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 Canada and Mexico. Flipping hell, that was hard. That was hard. I couldn't even say it. Shout out my mom living in Canada too. Uh, to the north. Alyeshka? No, Canada. Canada. Oh, Canada. wait, 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 wait. Did he just request it for the north or? Um, I'm sorry. What are the two countries that border America? Brazil, but I'm oh, not okay. sure. What about to the north? Brazil. Alyeshka? No, Canada, no. Canada. Canada and Mexico. Mexico and Canada. Yes, yes! It's Canada and in the south it's Mexico. It's Canada and Mexico. Canada and Mexico. Canada and Mexico. Uh, Mexico and uh, Canada. Canada and Mexico. Well done! Canada? Off the oh, bridge. Yeah. What the other one is? Canada and Mexico. Uh, Mexico and... Uh, Canada, sure. Who is the current president of the U.S.? And who is Joe Biden? No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. The new one. The new one. The new the one. The old one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's ironic. The new one might be the old one again. Um, yeah, because the election is coming up. Mm -hmm. I think I uh, found out that this year, presidential and prime minister, a lot of elections are taking place around the world this year. Ironically, yesterday was the vote in for Finnish president, which now we do have a new Finnish president. I don't know how it goes really in Finland. When is he gonna, you know, be the president for real, but we do have a winner, you know, it was announced probably earlier today or yesterday or last night, I don't remember, but it was yesterday that the voting was happening. And the presidential voting actually took place in January, but Finland has a, a weird way of doing it where they do like a re-election. If the first thing, when they, they have like six people, and um, if it doesn't, you know, if the person who wins through the first election with like six people, 
doesn't get over 50% of the votes on the first go, they then do a re-election of the first and second person in the previous election. And then that's the two nominees. And then whomever gets the most vote, you know, is the official president, which I think is quite fair. Why? Because keeping in consideration that there are six or how many ever there is nominees, right? Going up for the presidential election, the votes are scattered, right? So fair thinking is that if one person can get 50% of the votes, it means that they're definitely who people want, you know, the president to be. But if the vote are scattered where you're getting 20, I'm getting 25, somebody else getting 19% and shit like that, it tells you that, hey, there's a strong chance that, you know, the other percentage that vote for those other people might change their vote and who has 25% might not end up winning the, the the final battle between the two so i think it's quite an interesting way to do it but um yeah and then mexico. Uh, mexico and uh canada sure <laughs> who is the current president of the u.s and who is Trump. no 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 sorry sorry the new one the new one the old one <laughs> i can remember I don't so, that's, that's who is the vice president then camilla harris the indian woman joe indian biden woman. <laughs> and the vice president is kamala harris joe biden and kamala harris Damn! This uh, Joe Biden, the vice president. Uh, I cannot answer this question. It don't uh, matter, my like, boy. It don't matter, my boy. Like, damn. Those two people that just kicked it off, like Joe Biden and Camilla Harris. Like, damn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. And who is yeah. the vice president? It's a woman. Yes, but I don't remember the name. Joe Biden and I think Kamala Harris, but I'm, I'm not sure about this. Well Joe done, Biden my boy. And uh, Alexandro Casio Cortez. Biden. And who is the <laughs> vice president? Ooh, the vice president. That's a difficult question. Uh, Biden? Who is the uh, vice president? To that well, woman, I, I'm not, uh, you know, pregnancy brain. Uh, Biden? And the vice president? Camilla? Um, yes, no. yes, yes, What's yes. her name? Biden. Okay, and do you know who the vice president is? No. Joe Biden? Do you know who the vice president is? I have no idea. Joe Biden? Do you know who the vice president is? I want to say Condoleezza Rice, but I have no idea. Joe Biden. Do you know who the vice president is? Camilla. I mean, to me, it's pretty okay that they don't know the vice president. I don't think that's a problem. That's that's my take. I don't think that's a problem. You know, they don't live in a country. They don't they don't need to know who the vice president is. Them knowing the president is good enough, in my humble opinion, right? But um, for the few who knew Camilla Harris, that is insane. You know, and not just know know her as the woman, but her actual name. I can guarantee you this: you can walk the streets of the United States right now and ask a lot of Americans, and you're like, "Who's the vice president?" And they'll be like, "I don't know." Like that is a literal fact that I'm telling you right there. So, proud of these folks, man. What is the capital of California? I think Los Angeles. I will say something like San Clemente. Sacramento is your final answer. Okay. Los Angeles. Uh, Los Angeles. Miami. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Oh, you got me there. Name three American companies or brands that are <laughs> I promise things. you the worst one out of these is New York. Because if you ask anyone, what is the capital of New York? Right, I'm not talking New York City. I'm talking New York, the state. They will not say Albany or however the freaking hell it is pronounced, right? So I do understand that. Yeah, I do understand that. But the person who said Miami was out of pocket. Coca-Cola, McDonald's, General Motors perhaps. Uh, I use a Microsoft computer. She has an Apple, so th that's two. That's two. And uh, another big brand is we like, for example, McDonald's. Amazon. Apple, GMC and Shell. Apple, uh, Twitter, Facebook. Apple, Microsoft, and NVIDIA. Google, Apple, Tesla. Facebook, <laughs> uh, not Face, McDonald's. Nike, uh, Coca-Cola, General Motors. Monster, I think Twinkies, Rockstar. Coca-Cola, obviously. Doritos, Pepsi. Doritos. Tesla, right? Uh, Apple, Amazon. Oh, she, Apple, she with the tech. She's with the tech. She says Tesla, Apple, and uh, what was the one? That, what, what, what did she say? Uh, Microsoft, was it that? Was it that? Amazon. Wow. I mean, they did pretty well, bro. Like, the United States is not their country. They're all the way over there. 
you know, um, I can guarantee you could probably even ask Canadians and they'd probably not know as much as a lot of these people did know. But um, I think when he gets to the capital, I think that's an unfortunate one to ask these people because capitals in the United States are not what they seem. Like a lot of the capitals are literally just like not supposed to be the capital, in my humble opinion, you know, but um, they're the capital in a lot of cases. Right. But um, yeah, it was a beautiful video. I'm very proud of these people. They actually knew a shit ton. And um, shout out to them for actually knowing something outside of their jurisdiction. Anyways, man, thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I did enjoy. So um, yeah, like and subscribe. And I'm out of here. Peace.